How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. First of all, ignore the turban on top of my head. Um, we'll just we'll, we'll just say this is for show. If you don't want to believe that, check out the video from earlier today. Second of all, please enter the current time. If I remember correctly, last time we were told we could put whatever time we wanted. So, what is my favorite time? 7.58 a.m. I think a.m. I hope I'm right about this. Pink Fox is going to kill me if I'm wrong. Ah, <laughs> oh, 7.58 a.m. Your favorite time of day. It's either a.m. or p.m. That I know for a fact. Or, could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? Oh, no, 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 the correct time is 12.28 p.m., so, yeah, that's definitely not the correct time. After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 758 is. Let's use another slider to find out. It's very inaccurate. You know, can I just say... Regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. Um, good, I guess. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders. We've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let's whip a couple new ones up. Is, is this suddenly a quiz? Am I suddenly being tested? Are you taking the turban on my head as what it actually is and just, like, calling me stupid because you think my head's cracked open or something? It's not, by the way. be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Alright. Jeez. I call that rude. But yeah, if you it, again about this, if you want to know what happened, just just watch the video from the vlog from earlier today. Alright, let's start. I don't know how loud this is going to be. I didn't get the chance to adjust it, so just because I needed to showcase that. All right, step in, step out. Dang it, not close enough. Stepping in. Ha! You can't talk to me. Either that or I just can't hear things. Actually, I can't hear things. Why are every? Why is everything dead silent? Does the wall say the same thing? I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. I'll tell you, that's a lovely purse. You know what, buddy? I know I've got, like, half a brain. That's what the turban's for, to hide my brain, my half brain. <laughs> but I'm not that... <laughs> yeah, that's why I have the turban. I'm like, I'm like Mojo Jojo from Powerpuff Girls. I, I, the, my, my ultimate goal is just to hide the big brain that I got. I don't have a giant striped hat like he does. But, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. Alright. Hello. Wow. This is a lot of backtracking. And... Yellow open door to the right. Alrighty. So. You are now leaving. Am I now? Can I take the elevator? Nope. 750 foot. Wow. There are a lot of floors in this building. Floor 755. Oh, but I can't see Jack Diddley. Um. Mojo Jojo, find good new. <laughs> I am Mojo Jojo. 
I'm Mokro Nogo. You know what? That's that's where I'm gonna go. I'm Mokro Nogo. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna spell that <laughs> if I. <laughs> wow, there are a lot of floors here. I think there's 600 or 601, so we're almost there. But Mokro Nogo don't no no. Yeah, okay, there's 760. 600, I meant 760. Whoa, 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 it's dark. It's dark. I can't, okay, I can faintly see the sides. Faintly. Okay, there's the door, and let's get the hell out of here. Wait, what? I didn't even enter the room. What happened? Mokro no go. Does not appreciate it. The thing that you do, what you do of it. I, I'm trying to pull, like, the same kind of characteristics that character does, but I can't. Oh. Well, we're back here. All right. Well, I will shut the hell Stanley decided up. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Mokro no go will meet you guys back in the area where progression would have been as of last time. We'll catch you guys there. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Oh, wow. I, Mokro Nogo was going to say something about that, but um, that actually is calming. Wow. Feeling um, safe and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward. Hey, hey I need to see. Oh, hello. Okay, so we're pretty much back to where we were before. Let's go downstairs and get to the next ending. There are a couple endings we can check out. Maybe. It really depends on how long this next one's going to be. Mokro no go. Do not like it. Going to the place where things happen the because things happen the there, Stanley which affects the matter bad. of wave. It I can't speak like it. I really can't. I'm trying very desperately, but I mean, anybody who's seen the show, come on. And the only reason I know this is because I have a sister who used to watch it. Shut up! I've heard your dialogue before. Thank you. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But. Eh. Eh. Escape! You see that? You see, you, 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 you see that little thing down there? Hold on. Hold on. That, 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 that thing there. Yes, that. Um, Escape! I want to go there. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. That's what you say, but I don't trust you. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Well, the door is shut. I think. That looked like the door. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. No, really. Dead. Well, hello, big red uh, hole of doom. Big red hole of doom. Let's go. That is a long drop. Sheesh. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. And Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. It reflected that his life had no consequence whatsoever. Mokro no go don't like this. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. 
Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Can, can I, can, can I please? Oh boy. Uh oh. Resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his um. shadow life. Farewell, Stanley. <laughs> but I have so much to. No, 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 no. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh! Whoa, hello. Hello, pathway to nothingness. What's this one? Oh, just a bunch of boxes. Never mind. Nothing to see over there. Hey, Stanley parable sign. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Yeah. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? That's a good question. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? See what? You see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start. Excuse me? Um... This is a very interesting layout. Kind of showcases how the first game's main... What? Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. What? <laughs> I've never took the, taken the time to read these before. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrative. <laughs> Can we reinsert that, please? <laughs> we realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. That's fair. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Oh, that's right. I think in the beta version, this was actually there. So this game is one of those games that the beta was an option. Whoa. From... Whoa, whoa, whoa. From Pixel Sith, dear narrator, how do you stay in shape? Sincerely, Michael the Rock Martin. Hey, the Rock is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dang it! Hey, from Dink Dunk. Yeah, that that name alone. Forget the rest of it. Dink Dunk. Subject gay. Are you gay? No, I have a wife, and it's not for fakes or anything. Subject regarding your game in the works. Appreciate the previous stint. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Um, I don't think that was there in the first version. Oh, these are different variants of the office you have. Hmm. I actually forgot that the original version gave you different variants of the office. And that's probably where I need to go, huh? All right, let's go. <laughs> what are you oh, laughing at? at? These two, how they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. If I turn this off, will it shut you up? Or, Can you know... You Can you see how much they need nope. one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. And we're here again. You can still crap. See two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your PlayStation. Why would I do that? To beat this game. Wait. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your that own. wow, that's Choice. impressive. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't Why would I turn? That is very sentient. That is smart. I remember in the original version, she would say, all you have to do is restart. And yes, I am playing it on the PlayStation. That's clever. 
Turn off your PlayStation. Yeah, because that won't cause any problems at all. All right. We'll go for one more ending, which is actually a glitch in the original version. But I will see you guys up where it's at. In the room that we were when I went down the escape path. Catch you guys there. Mokro no go want to head through the large door that read mind control facility. Yeah, that seems like the right path. Okay, let's go. The lights rose on an enormous Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm only doing that just to showcase something. Technically, I can do this at any point. Shut up. You know what, dude? I'm gonna turn this on now the monitor and see if I can climb on Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Shut up. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom... Uh, 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 there it is. There it is. There we go. There we go. Hey. Aha. You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome. You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply huh. didn't And now it's intentional. <laughs> and you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it comes Actually, to that is a very, very funny shout-out to throw out there. So Moko Jogo. I don't know anymore. Moko no go likey. Call it the bottom of the mind control room ending. If that enhances wow. This is an actual you. ending, though. Isn't that what that is cool. New content. Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. Sheesh, you don't have to be an ass about it. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game, with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You okay. won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. I mean, I know I'm special, but you don't have to be a dick about it. Mind control facility. Good job. You did it. Good job. Ignore the farting my chair is doing. Seriously, that's my chair. Or it's probably not even hers. Wow. I'm looking at, like, the microphone level, and it doesn't look like it's being heard. Then again, how, how do I know? Losing the other part of his brain hole. Is that it? Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. There we go. There, pff, that is, there's the ending, and that's going to be the last ending we do for this episode. I don't know. I had a lot of fun with that. Mokro no go likey. I know that's not how Mojo Jojo from that show talks, but you know what? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Stanley Parable, Ultra Deluxe. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. It's so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got a suggestion for a indie, an indie game that you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any others that have been done prior to this? There are quite a few. Click the link in the bottom right corner of the train to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, Click the link across my head here and the train will take you there. And next time, I'm pretty sure this is going to be gone, so don't worry about the turbine too much, but I made it work. 
But again, seriously, if you want if you want to check out what really happened, just check out the video beforehand. Anyways, thanks again, guys. Um, trains off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!